how are you? Just starting a new video in this channel So today I'll be speaking in English And I will be sharing some parts of my life It's going to be 10 facts about me in English And I hope you guys like Hope I can help you with something And if you guys like this type of video Just let me know here Don't forget to give a like in this video And to subscribe in this channel I'll be very very happy Follow me on Instagram I'll be there too But speaking in Portuguese So the first fact is that I'm the only child I have a stepbrother But he never used to live with me So we are really really friends We are best friends now We talk on the phone a lot He's still in Brazil But we have a really good connection He's my best friend for sure I love him so much And he is I think 27 or 28 I can remember his age But he is a little bit older than me I'm 22 years old That's the second fact The third fact is that I learned English Since I was 7 years So I've been studying for a long long time I had the fluence after some years I can remember because I was really young but my first time in the USA was in 2015 and I was already fluent so I could talk I could um, express myself in another language just reminding that fluency is not just like oh have the perfect English don't have any accent but it's you can think and also make phrases and also express yourself in another language you can do anything any conversations in another language that's fluency too so the third fact is that I really 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 love chocolate I'm a big fan of chocolate and I, I can never stop eating chocolate I'm really addicted and every day after my lunch I'm always like craving for <laughs> another chocolate or candy I'm a really lover about chocolate and candies who else is like that I'm really really into candies and Lucas is a big fan of chocolate and candies too so that really helps me We always have candies and chocolates in the house Let me know if you guys like chocolate I really want to share some of the, my favorites The fourth fact is that I've had a hamster Have you guys ever seen a hamster? But not the cute one I had the white ones with red eyes He was so scary but I really loved him He stayed with me for a long time We were good friends He used to like walk around the house He was really tiny We used to play with him a lot I had a lot of animals I had birds, I had fish I had a bunny Do you guys know what's a bunny? I really loved him but he stayed just for a little bit in my house he was gray and he was like a little big he used to call toku he was funny he was from my friend but he stayed at my house for a long time not a long time but like uh, some months and I, i also had two dogs big one and a tiny one he was a poodle and the other one was really big i'll put a picture here he was cute he was lovely i had a lot of uh dogs i really want to have another one but right now i'm living in an apartment so it's impossible to have like dogs in apartment I feel really sorry about dogs that are living in apartments I know that some people can have uh, dogs inside the apartment Because they have time to spend with them outside But I mean, I cannot So I would be really, really sorry about a dog that stays in the house for like the whole day So that's not the time for me to have it But I really want to have when I have a kid Or if I like move to another house Or if I have more time to spend with the dog in the, in the apartment So the next fact is that my parents live in the US too. I think some of you guys know that they moved here in 2019 just like me. I moved in April 28th and they moved in May. I don't remember the date. I came as au pair. That's the, the reason that I don't live with them. But we are close. They are living in Florida. Uh, I travel there a lot. They come here too. We talk on the phone like every day. We don't call each other every day. Our timing is really different. I am two hours before them but normally i'm three hours before them so that makes my life a little like crazy some days because when i'm working my mom is studying or mixing that or they are working or something else but we try to do the best to talk every day and to spend more time together i really want to go back and uh, live with them i don't know in florida or maybe in another state i really love arizona i don't want to leave this state if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know how much i love this uh, state 
state so I'm not like thinking about moving from Arizona to anywhere else but maybe in the future I can move to another uh, state or they can come here guys really comment here move to Arizona move to Arizona I would really 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 love if they could come and live here with me but it's choices right guys if they want to live there it's okay we can travel and see each other any other time in vacation I'm always spending there or uh, they come here so that's okay it's not a, like a problem for me and not even for them I'm living with my fiance right now so I have his uh, company so um, uh, that's okay for us and the another fact is that I have my drive license in Brazil so I have the CNH I know that's not the name but I just wanted to say that I did the uh, the task to do that. I did the writing and the the driving task. I think it's called. I don't remember the name. But I did that, and the fact is, I didn't lose any point. Can you guys believe that? I'm so proud of myself that I've done the bo both of the tasks, and I didn't fail, and I didn't lose any point. That's a really good thing that I <laughs> that I wanted to share. And also, I really love driving. I could drive for a long time. I really like to have a car and drive all around in Brazil I used to have a car when I was 18 my dad gave me as a present so I really love to drive my dad also like like to drive so my dad had owned a company in Brazil for cars so I think that passion in me is from my dad I had my drive license here in the USA too so if you guys are interested in that there's a video in the channel that I talk all about prices and how was it and my experience and I didn't lose any points Point either so I'm really proud of myself having two driving license without losing points the other fact is that I used to do swimming classes I used to compete a lot I had some medals I used to do a lot of compete competitions I think and I was really tiny but I was really fast so that was one of my uh, good things that I could share at school I think I stopped it when I was 10 or something I really enjoyed doing but then when I grew up I was doing like school and also studying English so I was really busy as a child I was really really busy I used to do lots of classes so I've did just I did ballet, I did swimming classes, I did basketball classes, I did soccer classes, I did uh, piano lessons, I did... I think that was it. I think I did something at uh, the church too. I used to do everything at the church. So everything that they would say for me to do, I used to do. So I used to sing, I used to dance, I used to help with the kids. So kids always was my passion that can that can be another fact i really love babies that's why i'm a nanny here and that's one of the things that i really enjoy doing i think i will be a good mom because i really i'm really into kids i really like to uh, teach them and also learn with them i think we can learn a lot from the kids so that's one of the things that i really like to do uh, my first time in the usa was in 2015 that was a gift for my 15th birthday uh, i didn't want a uh, party but like to throw a big party i wanted to travel so my first time in the u.s was in 2015 it was magical i loved going to disneyland i think it was 2015 or maybe now i'm thinking of and i think it was 2014 turning 15 maybe it was in 2014 but it was really nice i love it i it was a dreamy for me i think i came three times to disney and it was like magical uh the last fact about me is that i always wanted a brother i have a brother I have a step brother but i always wanted to have a baby brother like a little one so that was something that i always wanted and always asked my mom but i could never have so i think that's one of the things that i love in kids i think it was like something about my dream i still care that in me <laughs> i still have this in on me so i think it was that that said i hope you guys like i hope i could share some of my moments in my life some of my facts Hope you guys enjoy this video in English. Let me know if you guys like and if I can bring more of this type of video. Give me some idea in the comments. Let me know any uh, things that you guys want to share with me or things that I can share with you. Show about the, the US in here. So let me know. Follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe uh, in the channel. Kisses. Bye-bye.